Now it's time to actually use a list. So a listed out item. So an array actually is what it's called in TypeScript as well as JavaScript. We call it an array, but it's an a list. It works very similar to lists in other things. Um, and I will say that using arrays is really, really easy to do. Um, not just inside of the class itself, but also inside of the template. So if I said video list and I put it equal to something, so these brackets right here is how you actually declare a list. Um, you can actually put items in here. So we'll say item one, item two, and item three. Okay, so since I've got this, this, these parameters here are, are automatically passed to my template. So I can go in my template and I'll just leave my title here, but I'm gonna put it into an actual title tag. And now what I'll do is loop through these items. So I'm gonna say P and star ng4 equals to let item in video list and then close off P. So this is one way of looping. Let's go ahead and just put in the item here. We'll save that. And let's go ahead and look at it. And we get this error. ng4n isn't a known property. So this is maybe intuitively what you would have done, but that's actually not how you write a for loop. It's of. So you write let item of video list. It's just slightly different than other sorts of for loops that you may have seen, but it's of instead of in. There is a way to do in, but in most cases you're gonna use of. So here we go. We've got our items actually listed out there. And of course they are coming from this video list. I will pause for a moment and say, you might be wondering why I'm not doing let video list equal to something because um, when you declare them on here, they're just considered a variable. Um, they're considered a parameter of that class, so you don't actually have to change them or they're not actually a variable of the class. It's just a parameter of that class. So that's something to keep in mind while you're going forward. Now, this is cool. Um, it allows me to see a list of these items. I'm gonna change this something to video list and be closer to what we might wanna call it. And I'm also gonna change um, my app component to no longer have the video detail. And I'll just add a little HR tag here to give a little line. So we've got hello serve up to, and we've got our video list here. So let's go back into that component and let's change our video list to being a list of dictionaries. So if I did video list again, it's gonna not like this. So I will comment out this other one and I'm gonna also give me some enters here. I'll put a dictionary here and I'll say name, sorry, name, and I'll say item one. And then inside of this item one, I will also add, let's just say link. And we'll just do item dash one, comma. Well, instead of link, I'm gonna call it slug because that's what it would actually be is a slug field. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and paste it a couple times for item two and oops, item three. Okay, so now we save that. If I look back in my app, I see that I got objects here. So these are treated as JSON objects. So that is of course, JSON objects, right? JavaScript object notation. That is what's coming through. So hopefully your mind's bubbling, especially if you've worked with backends before, you know that this could be eventually replaced with JSON from a backend. We will do that, but I just wanna show you how to loop through JSON data. It's really easy. We go back into our index, or excuse me, we go back into our video list component HTML, and now we can do item.title, or I think we called it name actually. I save that, and what do you know? It comes back. So it's actually giving me that name. And I can even do href and close that off. Grab these curly brackets and item.slug. If I save this, I look back into Chrome 
I see that I have links here. If I click on these links, they don't really take me anywhere, right? We'll worry about routing later, but they do work, right? And if I did um, something different, we will actually also change these links too when we, when we go into routing. I won't do it yet. Um, but it is showing us that we can iterate through these items fairly easily. But I can also use a conditional. So if I said ng if, and I'll do item.slug equals equals to, let's say uh, another double quotes in here. So item one, notice that that's the case, right? So ng if, I just did that, okay? I refresh, and now it only shows item one. So I can copy this and paste below it and say not equal to item one, I'll add a class of new, or, or I'll, let's add, just add a style so we can see this really. And I'll just say color red, okay? So we save that and we go back and there we go, All right? So really simple looping and some conditions. Now, of course, you can do also something called ng show. Ah, no, you can't. See, so a lot of the things from AngularJS don't necessarily go over. But it's important to do ng or star, ng if, and then having all that stuff there. Now, again, I want to show you these errors happen because if you're coming from AngularJS, which is something we've taught before, you're going to be like, oh, maybe it's ng show because that's what it was with AngularJS. That's why I want to show some of these errors to you because you might intuitively do those sorts of things. And if you're coming from Django, you'll see that this is not a whole lot different than doing a Django loop. Now, it is different because in Django, you use something like this for item in video list, but it is still very similar. Um, notice that I did declare let here. So we are calling this a variable and it sticks inside of this, this loop, right? So it doesn't go out here. That is, if I said, item here, it's it's not going to do anything, right? Well, what if I said var? Nope, it's not gonna let you. It doesn't let you do that. You have to do let. Okay, cool. So if you have any questions on looping and this minor conditional stuff, let us know. Um, of course, as you build projects, other things start to come up and we'll start to learn more about those other things along the way. So the next thing that we need to learn about is routing. So actually getting this to work and going to our video detail. That's next. If you have any questions on this one, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.